Tony. Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Shock and horror. I'm at the ASRock stand. I say shock and horror because they don't seem to do a lot of ASRock reviews, but they've asked me to come along today and here I am. And we have loads to show you. So I've got some uh, funky new graphics cards, some that I've never seen as well. And by never seen, I mean like you haven't seen them either because they're brand new. There's actually some that got brought out like two hours ago because of an MDA. So that's going to be really cool. Some sick OLEDs, some new AMD motherboards, and an amazing power supply feature that I think everyone's going to want to copy, but they've patented it. Okie dokie. So first and foremost, in we go. And this is the Tai Chi White, and it is a concept card. They have other white, so we've got the Steel Legend that's available. Uh, they do them in black as well, but they're looking at doing a Tai Chi in white. And if you have a look, the lighting down here on the black one is slightly different to the lighting up here on the white one. It's much softer. Anyway, so that is uh, relatively new. It's not out yet. They don't know whether they're going to launch it. They do have the white steel legend, like I said. But the cool ones are over here. Okay. So, first look at the 9060 steel legend. It's coming in the white and then they've got a challenger underneath much more cost-effective version in black these were literally brought out two hours ago onto the stand okay so we've got four OLEDs to show today it's uh, LG Samsung Samsung LG so I'm gonna say that out loud now so that you can remember first and foremost the PG 27 QFS these first two are 27s it's 240 Hertz 1440p and uh, is the LG OLED I'm actually preferring the two LGs just so that you are aware 360 Hertz on the uh, Samsung still 1440p then we kick it in nickel. We go into full 4K. Again, this is Samsung again. 240 hertz, UHD, true color black. It's actually got an antenna in the uh, base for Wi-Fi that you can connect to your PC. I'll show you in a sec. That counts for all of these. Then, as far as I'm concerned, the best of the bunch is the uh, dual refresh rate. 240 hertz. 480 hertz so 4k 240 1080p 480 does all of the things that i said to you about before it is the sick panel this is the best that they uh, offer as far as i'm concerned it is the lg panel if we come around the back and we look down the bottom here you can see the antenna it is just here you plug that via a cable into your PC and then on the back of the stand is a Wi-Fi antenna. So we have a range of AMD motherboards to show you today. We're going to start at the top, which is the Tai Chi OCF. It's only got two dim slots because it's meant for super high-end uh, memory overclocking. It is an overclocking board. They think this is this board is going to break the world record of 10,600 megahertz. They think they're a few weeks away from that, but they're busy beavering away at it. Next, moving on, X870E Nova Wi-Fi. Um, they uh, it does all of the things. I can't remember. That's a great way to put it, Tom. That is amazing. But it's because I was looking at the creator. This is the one, in reality. Uh, it packs all of the punches. There's loads of connectivity down the back. There's also a 10G and a 5G port on it. It looks really slick. It's really grown up. Moving down. This, uh, the sayings for people that live stream and stuff like that, that's why it's called the live mixer Wi-Fi. It's got a gazillion ports around the back. But if I'm honest, it's got a gazillion ports around the back, just like the creator, but this is gonna be much more cost effective. Moving on. Tai Chi at the top. 
centre the camera again. Spin you around the back so that you can have a look at the connectivity. The Phantom Nova. This is just the X870. No E. It's uh, a lower end model to this one. Far more cost effective. And then at the bottom we have the X870 Pro Wi-Fi. It's going to be really, really cost effective. Really aggressive. Uh, for those of you that want to build your rig on a budget. I have a couple of ITX boards to show you. First is the B850i Lightning Wi-Fi. But really it's this one, and I want to take the mickey out of the name, uh, and that's because they've called it the X, uh, sorry, the A620 AI Wi-Fi, but it technically the chipset is the 6820A, and then the I stands for ITX, but I do feel like they should have put a dash in between this so it didn't look like they were putting AI on everything, because obviously that makes our teeth itch. This is a low end board, but as you can see, it's still got a fairly substantial heat sink for the VRM. Uh, still got a heat sink for the uh, M.2. Still got a plethora of collections around it as well. So this could actually be a really good suit for someone that's building like a Ryzen 5 or maybe a lower end Ryzen 7 system in a small form factor, get a decent heat sink on it and still be able to cool it. You could also have a downdraft um, cooler on it to help keep the VRMs cool. Or depending on your case, if you had a uh, AIO, just make sure the AIO is quite close so it's gonna draw air straight up to keep your VRMs uh, cool and you're not gonna have any problems with a Ryzen 7. Okay, so some power supplies. We're going to look at the Steel Legend first. In white, 850, 1,200 watt. Uh, 80 plus gold, Cybernetics Platinum. Ticks a lot of the boxes available in white. So we then move on to the black version. This one is available in a couple of extra models because it's available in 650 and 750, as well as 850, 1,000 and 1,200 watt. Again, it's the same specs as the other one. It's just available in a few more wattages. And this is just to give you a quick gander of what's down inside but the next lot of power supplies have actually got a really really cool feature right then so we're going to start with the fountain gut gaming but i'm also going to start with the thing that really stands out with these and that is what they've done is they've got an extra power connector on the 12vh pwr and i'll show you it on the power supply itself we come down and have a look, you can see we've got the 12VH here and it's got an extra power connector on this side. So, what does that do? You are thinking, I bet you are, you know you are. So, there's the connector with the extra pin on it when the camera decides it wants to focus, there we go. But what they've done is they've put a thermal sensor just here on the uh, graphics card end. And if this starts to get too hot, it will shut the power supply down and instantly turn your rig off. Why hasn't anyone done this sooner? Like, I'm gonna, I could think of several people that I would have expected to have done this, and I'm almost disappointed no one's thought of this sooner. Um, still get the two color cable, so that's great. There is gonna be an option for you to be able to get a, uh, 90 degree connector if you want as well 750 watt 850 watt 1000 1300 and 1600 watt but then when we do move up to the big daddy tai chi the tai chi supports the same uh, power connector that this one does it also when we have a look on the back it's got two of them as well so you basically you can run whatever you want it's 1300 watt and 1600 watt 80 plus titanium cybernetics titanium it's the granddaddy the absolute kahunas of their power supply lineup okay so i want to thank asrock for inviting me to the stand today those power supplies and that fitting is really really cool i actually really like the monitors as well there's a cracking range of uh motherboards if you're going to be building an amd rig maybe you should be taking a look uh, i'm going to say we might end up with some review samples after this i was very surprised that they asked i was very grateful that they asked as well which is why i am here showing face because i'd actually really like to get the asrock graphics cards in um, 
yes, with the, they've got a lot of white models, but they are also the people that do make the white Intel models. And I don't think there are enough of those at the moment, so they do deserve props for that. The Intel graphics cards always offer incredible value for money at the lower end of the market, and ASRock are really, really strong there. So for me to be able to get ASRock on side to get some of those samples in could be great for me, but more importantly, and the graphs, it could be great for you. So we'll see what the future holds for now. But thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget, I cannot do this alone. Mark is back in the UK working his poor little fingers to the bone, doing all of the writing for all of the coverage at Computex 2025. So don't forget, OC3D is a family.